Hello everybody, welcome back to another debug console tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at a bunch of things related to seeds. We're going to see how to uh, put on a seed, reseed, clear seeds, uh, show the easter eggs in the game, and also teleport to challenges in the game. All pretty unique stuff. Uh, and then we'll also see how to display different cutscenes in the game. Let's hop right in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to apply a seed to your game here. So as you know, every Isaac run that you start up has a specific seed associated with it. So right now we're on the 99B7 F9XL seed. Uh, and you can apply these from the main menu if you want to apply a certain seed. But you can also do it in the debug console. So say we wanted the uh, TIMMAY48 uh, seed. We can do that. I just put debug. That is not correct at all. T-I-M-M-A-Y for 8 seed, and that'll reseed the game, and now we're on that seed that we specified before. Is it probably easier to just do this on the main menu, where it isn't case sensitive? Uh, it converts the I's to A's that we had, uh, or I's to 1's that we have, uh, and makes sure that everything is all good and works? Probably, but in case you wanted to do it in the debug console, it is readily available for you. Now, say we wanted to be on a different seed than what we're currently on. All you have to do is hit reseed, type that in, hit enter, uh, and now we will be on a completely different seed than before. This doesn't update in here, uh, which is a little bit disappointing, and I think that, that would be something that they should add, but you are on a completely different run now than what you were on with your previous seed, and hey, this one ain't too bad, ain't it? So as many of you know, there are actually some Easter egg seeds in the game that can put different effects onto Isaac or change your run to be different uh, things. So we can actually unlock all of those Easter egg seeds at once by just typing in eggs here. Uh, so now all of the Easter eggs have been unlocked in the main menu, which is pretty unique. So let's head on out there and let's see. Uh, and when we go to new run, you can see that Northern Lion is sitting in the bottom right. We can hit Q and all of a sudden we have all of these different seeds that you can put on. Look at how incredible this is. There's so much on here uh, for you to try out. There's a couple that I really, really like. Uh, I always use the Christmas seed around Christmas time for my videos to put the little uh, Santa hat onto Isaac. Uh, extra gore is something that I'm never going to put on, but some of you might enjoy that. You can make your player invisible, which is kind of cool. You could reverse your controls, put on ice physics, which means that your guy's going to skate around like he's on ice. Uh, pretty cool stuff. But one of my favorites is Poopy Trail. So we can put on Poopy Trail, uh, head back, go into a run here, and you will see that we have the Poopy Trail seed now on. So everywhere we walk, it's just going to leave poop behind us, which is just incredibly infuriating and one of the stupidest things on this earth. So now say we wanted to get rid of it. We could just use the clear seeds command, which is also a uh, another seed related command. We hit it uh, and then all of a sudden our seeds are gone. So you can put on multiple Easter egg seeds, get these all good and then hit clear seeds and they will all be gone. Pretty useful stuff. Uh, very easy to use. Finally, the last thing on our list for today is to show you guys the cutscene command. And the cutscene command is pretty straightforward. It just shows you cutscenes. So say we wanted the uh, intro cutscene. You just do cutscene one, and we have the intro to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, a game by Nicholas. Isaac and his mother Isaac lived on a small house on a hill. Lived alone in a small house on a hill. That was close enough. Uh, but then that's going to go on in the background while you do your run here. We could also do like, I don't know, 12 when he encounters uh, Dr. Fetus for the first time. Uh, always one of my favorite cutscenes when he's in the womb opening up the chest and then pulls out something strange and you unlock an item. Always felt good getting those. Some of you guys might like going back and watching these uh, old cutscenes. I don't really give a damn about them, but hey, you might find it useful. That's all for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, remember to slap the like button. Uh, we'll be back with another debug console tutorial shortly. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.